The dark lipstick. I don't know. Oh, it looks good. You, yeah, you're kind of you're giving a little like grunge look. I like it. Thank you. When you put on lipstick, do you are you a, <laughs> are you a gal who like you your lipsticks? If if I open it up, is there a slant or is it like a nub? No, they're perfect, like like flat. And when you do your makeup, do you go on the mirror like this and go like, <laughs> in the movies, or actually, is it more just like a <laughs> <laughs> actually like, like <laughs> girls? Comment down below. <laughs> Who like sits on the counter with like feet in the sink and does, does their makeup? Wait, feet in the sink? Yeah. What do you mean feet in the sink? Because you're giving yourself a little no. foot spa? No, I just, it's just, just com comfortable. To get closer to the mirror. Oh, yeah. to get closer. Oh, to the mirror. I'm so our, the kitchen our, I hate, So our little shardies, a little shardies. I do not have a vanity. So I sit, I like sit, cause I don't like standing and doing everything. Got it. I like to sit so I can sit on the counter and put my feet in the little bowl and just. Oh yeah, Patricia will like create this like makeshift area on the ground. It looks like she's busking, like asking people for I change. I know what to get her for Christmas. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> it's in the kitchen cause that's the best lighting. <laughs> you, you guys have a lot of room for stuff, I feel like. I know, but I feel like I do. I feel like we both have things where like, yeah, we can get them right now, but we want to save stuff for the future just so like it keeps things exciting. Yeah. Like it keeps us looking forward to something like a vanity is something that I always dreamed of. You also, so I do want to wait until it's like my dream vanity that I like worked hard for. And it's just like, that makes sense. You but I mean, if you want to buy it for me, you need like a cutout though, to like slide a seat under our yeah, cabinets are like the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you kind of, you also, you know how, those, some girls will have like a whole, like a, will have a whole room just as they're like. Yes, a get ready I feel, room. I, I feel like that's a what you want, right? Room. Like oh a get gosh. ready room because they'll have the vanity in there. They'll have their racks of clothes. Oh, it's a whole bedroom, but it's insane. just for their clothes and makeup. You know what I want one day down the road? It's like a insert that you put in your closet, like super tall yeah. and you can set your clothes in it like a, like a rack basically. And it steams them yes. and makes them perfectly Oh wait, it, it, does you that like not exist? No, they have it. That's so nice. But mm -hmm. it's like tall and it's like this wide. So you can like set like suits and like dress shirts and nice things. You set it in there on the hanger and it steams, steams overnight it. or it's in just a couple minutes. Yeah, it that's, steams that's, it and makes it like perfectly crisp. That's 600K a year lawyer type in shit right closet. there. some spy kids stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it an old school thing? Didn't I think we, so. We, or we found like a pant press that in a house weird. that was built in like the 60s or oh, something yeah. like that. Really it's got so like cool. a 50s uh, gizmo gadget. Yes, I love yeah. that. Because <laughs> so it's cool. stuff that nobody has. It, like, nobody it, has it, it like works like a quarter of the time. It doesn't like fully work, <laughs> but it, it's still cool to yeah. have. My friend, he had this like iron in his house that was like from like the 70s, but it was one of like a, it was like built a in, press, pull down. Yes, press yes, down what one. It's it like you were like making shirts. I was like, hell yeah. I was at a I was at a house uh, yesterday, and they in the master in the master room they have a hole where you throw the clothes and it goes right yes. into the. Genius. Why isn't that in every Wait, two story house? Like, like a laundry chute? Like a laundry chute? Oh yeah. Yes. I think it's so, and the way they Genius. had it in there was so, it was just perfect. It was hidden. You couldn't really tell it was there. We, it was like in a cabinet. You open the cabinet and that's where like they set it up. We saw one that oh, was yeah. a single story, so it couldn't have a chute to go down. But the laundry room was built on the other side of the wall of like the, the closet. So they have a basket that like is a pull out drawer. So when you drop it in, it's connected to the laundry room. So you could pull it the other oh. way. So you just pull from the other side and all your clothes are there. And then when you like do the laundry, so you just good. push it back but, into the closet. But what's the con? You hear. Yeah. <laughs> true, room. true. <laughs> but that's true. that like, so I don't, why is they don't, why don't they do shit like that? Like, why don't they make it fun? These new houses that they're building is just I keeping saw it something, traditional. I saw something that was like, um, you can tell when a contractor builds builds a home uh -huh. and a designer builds a home yes. or, or, yeah. or something like that. Yes. That's the difference. Like if it's like there's a, thought put into it to like, yes, make like practicality, it. things that make sense as opposed to like, let's just put as many rooms as we can. Like, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, Architects like the, uh, buying an architect to build a house is like an extra 30 or $40,000 yes, on top through, of your project. So sense. sometimes people think, well, I could, I, I can make something on Sims. Right. I can build this. Yeah. Cause you know, there's about that. three, uh, there's three uh, contractors right now building all these fucking that's houses why, that's around all the, same. the same, the same exact houses, it's same so shitty annoying. chandelier, the same shitty mm. fucking stair. It, it's, uh -huh. Oh mm. my God, like switch it up. Have a little bit of like just creativity into at least like no, the wall. Break it out, flip it, make the most money next one. Oh God. Yeah, you figure like in LA, people would have like enough 
take they're worried about people if they did build something a little weird and creative that nobody would buy it well that's, that's why what they're worried is, about everything is so bland it's the the black and white with the marble with a little bit of wood no character yes because if they went bold and they did something like geared towards a style or having some sort of character that you know makes it distinct yeah that there's chances that people won't like it so they go make it as bland as possible because people are going to do what they want and like you open it up to selling it to more people which this sucks, generation but. grew up with like parents who had you know very like dark homes and mm. wood and stuff and those yeah. people don't want their avocado parents home. green my mom my mom my mom's house is the perfect like example of like that dark wood home that makes just everything tuscan feel vibes dark. yeah very yeah. 2000 mm -hmm. and i've just i've had it let's, I have let, had let's it. do it those two ladies have you ever seen their <laughs> podcast and um, i have just had it and i've had I dude, I am obsessed with those They're TikToks. Are really so good. good. I would forget their names, but two little ladies reminds me of my mom and like aunt. Mm. Um, all right, let's uh, hit that intro, baby. It's comic talk, baby. Woo! <laughs> unfiltered. Hola, cómo está? We are Zane and Heath. Unfiltered. I am Zane. <laughs> I'm Heath. Me llamo Matt. I'm Mariah. And etu es ella enfiltre. That was amazing. It sounded really good. <laughs> it sounded like, I was like, damn. He was selling Did that. Did you learn some stuff in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you just I brought it back, brought it back. Where did I go? Miami, yes. I just got back from Miami. <laughs> we saw... Uh, we saw Susie do her first runway show, which was so Susie. yeah. And this so was cool. for Sports Illustrated Swim. No, no, no. Week? This was oh. this was for some like swimwear brand. Oh, that she wasn't were... in Sports Illustrated. No, yo, this <laughs> whole time. You, how many people have you told? I, I get, luckily not that many people. No, but but, but let me tell you the like that that one specific show that she was in. Like the models were insane. It looked like a Sports Illustrated. Just they were just. It looked really good. Yeah. Like right. the, the the girls in like the outfit. Everybody looked really really good, and um and Zeal Fitness. They reached out to the brand, and you know they were super excited, and they had Susie on there. It was it was really nice, and it was like her first time on runway, and she looks amazing. Nervous. As she hell. didn't look nervous at all, though. She, no, like, she yeah, killed she it. Killed she it. was she was pretty nervous. I think we're what we're all worried mainly about was her falling because it, yeah. it's like it's <laughs> raining the whole weekend. There was a few shows already that had girls fall. I saw horrendous. It? Did he see them? It was on TikTok. Yes. Did he see it? No. The girl, um, girl, poofy hair. She was walking and. Slip. Oh. Was, was right this show on. outside? For it was her? outside. It oh, was that. Boy. It was that runway that she was on Dang. where so that girl slipped. Is swim swim week just like an umbrella for all different brands? Yeah, it's like South, South by South Swimsuit. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> South by Swimsuit. Uh, it's like Shark Week. They're different yeah. channels do different things. Oh, yeah. okay. So she was in the vicinity of all the other yeah. runways. And we, what we um where we were at wasn't like the main one, right? There's like bigger ones, like the one Natalie did. I would say was bigger than the one Susie was. Was in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like how even like the location, everything. Are they Every, a lot of hotels will have different shows for different brands, and Got brands it. will pay a lot of money to like get their stuff now, in there. This was Susie's goal. Her end goal yeah. was to be in a two piece bathing yeah. suit. Her, she she, she wanted amazing, to have the confidence yeah. to be in a two piece, and but why not make it a little bit harder and have to walk on a runway with a bunch of other you know, other very traditional looking models in front of a ton of people that she doesn't know. So this know. was like the grand finale for her transformation. Like this was like the big I don't think she's done yet. I don't think she's at her goal, but I think this was just perfect timing Got for it. for because it was swim week in Miami. But um, yeah, she's, dude, she's working so hard. Like every time we do boxing, she's like killing it. She's really Good. putting her- That's amazing. Her whole, uh, her whole like- are this now during swim week? Is it oh, what? Are, what about the guys? Are we are we spotlighting any uh, men's swimsuits? We or? did. We did have. There was a couple. There was a few guys on that runway. Rocking but billabong. Swim I don't know. Suits. I feel like in this, <laughs> and for when it comes to swim week, it's all about the ladies. Yeah, you know? I guess they get, so. they get all the eyes. You hey, remember Gadzooks? Gadzooks, the store. Gadzooks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that do. was like the coolest store back in the day for, where, for like board shorts and stuff. Oh yeah, that was like. like the edgy pack son. Yes, and there was like I, buckle. I there was there well. was always like a like a half of a Volkswagen Beetle on the wall. Gadzook, though, they always it was store closing. I felt like all the time. <laughs> wow, know? guys, I like I have never seen that. I mean, or they have one in Broward doesn't, Mall. Doesn't look familiar at all. Yeah, Gadzooks, baby. Oh, but you know what? Suits. Working at a mall, you would know all the mall, uh, stores in the yeah. mall. 
Because you saw it every day. You're right, you're right. And now were they doing a fashion show for all of the swimsuits that are going to be coming out like yeah. next winter. Dude, no, was there like a designer at the end who walked like down the runway? Like, yeah, they, they, so after the show, there's even times where the founder would be one of the models, like one of the models walking because, you know, they were just models oh. of themselves. That's yeah. really cool. So that was pretty much like that, that whole weekend. Um, we flew a little earlier to film some stuff for my doc because it was already, um, we were gonna shoot something in Florida anyways. And I told Ilya, why not just like make it cheaper for everybody and we just book an earlier flight. Yeah. So not everyone's, you know, the team is not booking two flights and let's just get my stuff done while we're out there. What did you shoot Which with them while we you shot, were there? Um, so my mom hit up her uh, chief and they were able to, um, they were able to- The um, chief of the fire. Uh, her chief, yeah, her chief of Miramar Fire Station. They were able to get us into Hollywood a Fire Station because they have a whole training f facility, a whole building Whoa. where they like. Um, That's cool. We'll, that they'll put the a building on fire. The ladders up the thing. The and ladders and they up have buckets Every of water. Kid's dream. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's really like it's insane what they have in there because and I'm sure, because in training they'll make it harder than like real life situations. So they're prepared so for ready. anything, right? And but the, the way they have it set up, they got wires everywhere. They have like all of this dangerous shit that you would see. Like hazards. Right, a, fire, a firefighter yeah. would see on the job. And dude, it is tough being in all that fire gear. Yeah. I didn't realize how hot it was. I've never worn a fire, like a real, like a real firefighter outfit yeah. until that day. And once you're all in that, before you're even before you even start, before you're even in Sweat. the building, you, you're you you're about to have a heat stroke. Like you are Ooh. dying, right? And it's heavy, right? It's yeah, heavy, they yeah. They can't let oxygen in it or like it has to yeah. be fireproof. And in that building they'll have, so they didn't obviously didn't have the fire on. They didn't have like the smoke everywhere. The lights all turned off. They usually have all that during training. They just left everything on and it was still really tough. What was the, like, what have, was the hardest like task that you had do, to do while training? It, it was all of it. It was all of it together, right? Like if you just had me do one thing, sure, like right, anybody right. can do that. But like everything together, having to do that, like on a like a twenty minute call. If you're like in a burning burning building, you have right. to go through wires. You have to save a person. You have to make sure to drag them out. You have to make sure your whole team is okay. All that together is insane. Me and Ilya found out, or me and Ilya realized while we're out there that there's a big difference between physical strength and firefighter strength. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing stronger than firefighters. These guys are fucking strong. And women. And women, sorry. <laughs> God, I mean, guys- Your mom's a general. firefighter, I yeah. know, I know. Yeah, they, um, it, you, ha you have to be able to just have enough endurance to be Did able to- Did your mom watch you do the training? Yeah, she was the one that was, she was the one that like kind of- Oh, that's like, so cool. Yeah. Oh. And, um, oh, was, she, was she so happy? Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting and, but, and, it's funny, they were like, I'm surprised that you've never like done this with us. I was like, well, first off, I don't want to bother you guys with my yeah, fucking yeah. like, oh, I want to I want to do this Let me for fun or I want to do this for a YouTube wanna video. It's like, because this isn't like, it's not, it's in the end of the day, it's like a serious thing. Like you, this is like, you you save lives. Yeah. And I don't want to be over here fucking. Were they still on? Oh, this is. Yeah. But so when you were know. doing the training, were the firefighters like still on call? Like any moment they could be like, oh, gotta oh, go. Oh, Sorry. No, take it off, take it off. I gotta put it on. <laughs> get out, get out. <laughs> I mean, it's a fire fire station, so like, there's uh, like it doesn't it's, it never oh, closes down. Okay, there. like even on holiday, it, it, there's uh, somebody always there on call. Yeah, in case something happens. But yes, there were people on, like on call there. But I was we we're wearing like my mom and her friends' fire suit, so like we we're, oh, okay. we're, we're, were good. What holiday do you think <laughs> is the busiest for firefighters? You think Fourth of July? Yeah, or? it's Fourth of July. Oh, it is. That's what my mom. Uh, yeah, I was thinking mom. that or Thanksgiving. Or I feel like mm, turkey fires. People, people, turkey. people who think they can cook. Yeah, <laughs> or just also. Yeah, I guess we'd say though a lot of fires happen around w winter time too, because people are like using their heaters and like yeah. using a lot of electricity. But, but, right, yeah. you know what? There was something specific about, uh, there was something specific they said about like days that have the most fires and I forgot what it was. <sighs> and I hate, I, it was definitely 4th of July, but there was something else that was really interesting that they said. Hmm. And another I will holiday? ask next time. I don't know if it was another holiday or a specific day. Like a Friday? It was, it was something, it was something like that, but I forgot. But whenever Drake uh, drops a new album. <laughs> <laughs> um, they had us, uh, um, they had us pick up like this dummy that they created. That's like, <laughs> it was like the, the, the best, like it was like realistic. the most realistic dummy. And I know it looked really weird, uh -huh. but it was the most real, like when you're picking the dummy up, you're like, whoa, this feels like an actual human being. And it was only 175 pounds. That's a lot. I'm, I'm like, or I'm 195. Yeah. So. And there's people much heavier than me yeah. that they have to like drag out of fires. 
Woo! Insane. Amazing. And when I was do when I was doing the um when we were I was doing the training, it's crazy. Like in my head, because I really wanted to drop that doll because I was I was so exhausted and I was about to like faint. Uh -huh. But in my head, the only way to get through was like Zane. Just imagine that this was like real, so, like real, and this was actually you would not drop this person that you need to keep going. Yeah, and that helped a lot. But it's crazy that they just have to do that every single day. But, but how was and your it, lower back doing? <laughs> I would oh, imagine bending. You know, over oh, you know what? My lower back was actually fine that day. I. It was it was quick, right? It wasn't like an hour training. The whole the whole thing was maybe f ten minutes. Oh wow, 10, 15 minutes. But if but it was a four hour workout. Yeah, yeah. All in fifteen minutes. Ilya though, beat he was. I, I can't believe I survived compared to Ilya, and I was one second behind Ilya. One wow. second, wow. which is crazy because like Ilya's fucking. He's super really fit. super fit and like a thud drop, but like he was. There, there's he a needed like an IV because like, he was he was fainting. Like weight strong and being like firefighter fit like applied strength and applied you know yeah. endurance is totally different than just being like good at weights yeah mm -hmm. exactly um, and a little bit of mind over matter right True. yeah like i look at my dad my dad's a big guy oh your dad has firefighter strength i've never seen my dad like <laughs> lift weights i don't think he's ever worked out but like you know that big ass vending machine i have in the guest house yeah i'm like all, like pushing it trying to move it and he's like where do you want it and i'm like i don't know just like a couple feet over he he's six four <laughs> like <Two fingers. laughs> massive he just grabs it and like picked the whole thing up oh and my. like moved it i'm like you're 60 something years how are you doing this but some people you just have like that applied ability to he, like move he things. doesn't even look old does he i feel he's like he just, looks really he's good just for his age big. He's he's just big, big. Big. it's crazy seeing old people that are tall yeah. Have you ever seen? Yeah. We saw an old couple walking on the street that was like over six foot, but they were like eighty something. That's yes. wild. You never couple. see tall old. Did people. you take a picture? They get no, but we I don't live. To. We don't live that long. Wait, either. can we Google that? That is, and so also like you start like shrinking as you get older. Yeah, yeah. not too much, right? I, don't you shrink like a, like an inch or two? Or like Patricia's like, grandpa was like good. when he was good. fully <laughs> wrecked when he was fully. <laughs> When he was fully younger, now. he was like six. I'm six three. He was like six seven, but like over age, like I was taller than him because that's how much like you like your all body like compresses. It compresses. Yeah, that's it's wild. Literally just dying. Did you meet any models? Um, not really. No. Um, um. No, it was it was it was a very um a quick turnaround thing. Like we went, we saw Susie, and then we left. And we mm -hmm. went out for the night because we were celebrating for Susie because she needed to like be really clean and not nothing, nothing nice. bad until that runway show. And then she got crazy. Was she practicing her walk for you guys like the night before? Honestly, like, I think she probably hallway. practiced for maybe like 10 minutes at David's house. I don't think she like really practiced too much. Yeah. She's also like not a runway model. So I don't think in her head was like, I need to make this perfect. I think right. she just wanted to have fun. Runway walks are like it's you know people always give models a hard time oh what you're just pretty and all you do is walk up it's and down hard. a runway a perfect it is hard. runway walk is it's incredible when you see it yeah and then you see someone else do it you're like oh mm -hmm. shit yeah and i mean and I, I mean the walks like the high end like, like Gigi high Hadid, end walks. Kendall Jenner. Yeah, those are like hard. Different walks for different brands yeah different yes. types of clothes like you hit that balenciaga the yeah the high, <laughs> yes. you know what i mean yeah. like you uh -huh. get like and the victoria's secret it's just like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is like a, it is an art yeah there's like choreography to it there's posture like facial expression yes. but let me make but, it look easy it's let me hard. tell you though my favorite thing to watch like on tiktok are those like compilation of like walks yes first i mean i'm not into runaway at all but like watching yeah, them yeah. is just like i love just how'd you get that you go. shot that video that you posted oh yeah all my iphone i'm kidding I, I grabbed it i grabbed it from the company's page yeah i, I was like where the hell i was like this is so <laughs> random what, what was he shooting a good <laughs> model maintains their eye contact like they've done this so many times before yeah. they keep it center and even when they pose at the end you know it's someone who's like first time is because they're like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like looking around yeah. <laughs> like they're like their eyes are everywhere you like to, you like, have look to keep straight it straight ahead just straight. i just couldn't take myself seriously <laughs> like Matt, what would i be couldn't like, keep a straight face like <laughs> what would be your what would be your signature on the runway like what, what would you do if you if you got to do like your any last walk you want at the end pose what are you doing at the end you gotta Probably do something like, goofy like you gotta like kill it and then do something goofy at the end i don't know i kind of would like to be wearing like glasses and then do the little like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's good like, do, 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 do. Oh, like move them up and down that's how i would i don't know that's really good i think i, I know mine 
Well, oh, what? Because they would just split. No, no. <laughs> no, I can't even do that. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the turnaround and just do this. Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> making love to that runway. Yeah, making love to the runway. Have you yeah. ever done, walked a runway? I feel like you I feel like I feel like dancers like could easily. No? Yeah, I think we can. I, I, th I think I can handle it. Because I take heels classes. So like I learned to walk in heels. And we're good at like the rhythm and stuff. I don't know if I can ever do a high fashion thing, but I can definitely have do like a fun one that's not so. Yours, you would throw a flip at the end. Oh, You'd be like, I'd be that person. <laughs> did you see? <laughs> did you see Taylor Lautner come out at the Taylor Swift show and he just like threw a flip as his entrance? Oh, yes. wait, wait. I, I, I was like, I gotta stop doing flips can, because I have secondhand embarrassment. Can you t can you talk about that? Because I saw a little bit of it. I have no idea what people were talking about though. Like what was the like a situation? surprise guest? Like I don't. Him he was oh, in one of the our new, shows. He was in one of the new mu music video for Cruel Summer. I think because oh. she just put out I, her- I really don't know. I just know that they've done a movie together and they've dated maybe. Yeah, some of the songs oh, are about him, but he had a cameo in her, because she just uh, put out her new release for, oh my God, it. what album is it? I don't know. Um, Speak Now. Oh. And, oh yeah, he does what? this shit. Because <laughs> he used is... to do karate. That's how he got like- Yeah, he's like, a martial artist and a break yeah. dancer. And a painful. So was it like? Pod. Was it really cringy? I'm guessing that. Have you listened no, to his No, it pod? wasn't. It was just like he. It was just like he did the flip. That it was just like him walking out. He was like, like that, that oh. came out of nowhere. <laughs> he he yeah. was like, I didn't plan that, but I thought it was cute that him and his wife, who's also Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Taylor and Taylor. Taylor yeah, I thought it was cute that they all like went out and hung out together. Like it just seemed like a wholesome moment. I'm like not, a yeah. like a reunion. Yeah. Have you That's listened nice. to his podcast with him and his wife? No. no, dude, Taylor Lautner. I feel like I'm just talking shit. He is one of the most painfully annoying. This is how he speaks. I've never really like heard Buddy, him talk except he for takes, movies. It takes five minutes for him just to say three sentences. And okay, he Lord, there's like, nothing. There's nothing wrong, wrong with that. that. That's but, fine. No, you're so <laughs> it's okay. No, he is enjoying his thought. And what he's gonna say? You know what? Uh, at least like, he speaks clearly. Uh, at least he as long as he's speaking you know clearly. What? You know what? Must be nice. <laughs> Must be fucking. Must is it exhausting nice. to listen to? I bet Taylor Lautner is a good <laughs> guy, but I'm like, when I listen to interviews with him, I'm like, get to the point, I, my I guy. I actually had a poster of him hanging in my room in middle school. Dude, he was uh, the one, He man. was the first poster I put up. You know how every girl had their, their. Uh, what is it called? Uh, what their crush wall or their dream wall? Yeah, vision just board, accent wall. Yeah, <laughs> we had an we had an accent wall of posters and stuff, and mine was like Justin Bieber, Taylor Lautner. Oh wow, really? I had the Justin Bieber and Taylor Lautner. I didn't know Justin Bieber was like a big heartthrob for you. It was yeah. right before she moved in, so like. <laughs> 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 Mariah, I, you should have told me that would have brought you to the music video shoot. I think it was right after Shark Boy and Lava Girl because he was young. He had that spiky, spiky hair. He was really like he was. Oh, I remember when he got in 12. great shape for Twilight. I felt threatened. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it, like it was because I just knew him as Shark Boy, little yeah, boy, yeah. and then he was just. Uh, Bro, what is his name on? The hate he got when he got a little bit pudgy. Oh, that picture. Yo, oh my yeah, people, dude. People left. love. Um, <laughs> he was a, he was a around that age. People love seeing somebody go from fit to gaining weight. Oh yeah. Oh, the the, the hate that he got. It's crazy. Let him. That's why I'm scared about this transformation. Because people are gonna turn. <laughs> you are gonna turn on no, me. No, Zayn. They're gonna be super happy. You're gonna get abs. You're gonna get fit. And then if you don't keep that up for the rest of your life, it's gonna be like wow like yeah. <laughs> he let himself oh and, and, and the fitness community they're gonna Done. be right at my throat mm. oh my god because i because like i know myself right. i know myself and like right. you know what i might get i i, I you know i will get Preach i it. will get big again yeah it's all right because it is what? a part of me it's okay there's nothing wrong as with long that. as you inspired people yeah, ex I, it was, yes. Which, and it's none of their business where you end up. How about that? Yeah, my mm. weight is none of your business. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but Keep I it to yourself. <laughs> Dude, what's weird is that they cast him as a wolf when he kind of. <laughs> Are you jealous of him? No. <laughs> Taylor, yeah, get it, get am him, I baby. jealous of Taylor well, Lautner? You're the only one taking I'm, like, I'm, dicks I'm jealous of Taylor Lautner. I guess. No, I, I guess stick up for your man. I don't know. If we had him on a pod, we'd be here all fucking night. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you got some beef Yo, with Taylor. I listen, we, we, gotta, we gotta bring him on here next episode. Yeah, I listened to him on Call uh, Call Her Daddy and I was like driving. I was like, what is this? I, <laughs> and rarely am I that tough of a critic about like listening to someone talk. But when you get someone on a podcast, you really get to hear how that person is. I listened to Taylor Lautner and his girlfriend talk for 
I don't know how long. I was like, wait, this but I'm confused. Is- if you're not crazy about them, why do you keep clicking it? Because Patricia likes calling that. I don't know. <laughs> we listened to something on the <laughs> way. We were coming back from Coachella. I like the morning toast. You, did you see who she just got on? Zay oh, Malik. Zay Malik. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I saw wow. clips of it, and it's really, really good. Because he's coming out. He came out with an album, right? Or he's back with music. Oh, is that's, that's why. is that why he's? Uh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's really why, yeah. there's no it's reason only why. impressive if you get a cool guest and they're not doing a PR. PR, line. exactly, <laughs> exactly. No. The, mm-hmm. um, Alicia sent me the TikTok of her announcing it, and it's so funny because the whole audio is uh, her announcing that it, um, she has Zayn on, but it's just Zayn, right? There's no Malik anywhere. Oh. Oh and it has it's, God. Uh, and <laughs> my heart it's, skipped a beat when the TikTok like pulled up and it was like Zane. I was like, is he? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really funny. Because people don't really see Zane Malik a lot, and there's uh, the what other Zane is yeah. there really, except for me and maybe Dude, like Zane get, Gray. Why do you get a skull tattoo? What is that on the side of his head? I think it looks sick. Oh, yeah, he's Zane. He's Zane Malik. I mean, you his whole body tattoo. You, can, you know, really, you know, they moved. Her family is from. Close to where my family's from, and he moved there. Who, they Hadid? like they have, they have a whole farm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he has oh. chickens. One of them died. His whole. <laughs> it's really hard losing a chicken. Oh, Matt. I know. You almost lost another one. Yeah, we he had, didn't even he didn't even have names for them. We had you one, guys that, did. That, it was a really funny uh, little clip. Actually, he he has like six chickens or whatever, and one was sick or something happened, and he like carried it into the vet, and they laughed at him, and they were like, nobody really brings chickens in here. And he ended up, so he went back in the car and he ended up passing away on the way home and he was like a mess. So she asked him like about the chickens and she was like, have you named them? He goes, no, because I got too attached the first time and then they pass away. So oh, he's that's just like, what it is. Sorry. Yeah. Did they eat them I thought that was so, I was like, I, you know what? I, I feel that. It's a, it's a big dilemma deciding if you're going to eat your chicken after it dies. Yeah. yeah. Come again. I wonder. Oh, really? Because you're like, do uh, you want to like send it off and like you know, yeah. have their nutrients pass through you. It's kind of like an honor, yeah. almost. Mm-hmm. That's you know? how I would see it. We, but if it we, died, we buried ours. But we had a, a, our other chicken just got attacked by a raccoon like two nights ago. And died? No, he's no, recovering. He, he kicked his ass. There's been raccoons all over the place. Like, and coyotes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, raccoons. What, where are you from? Like Connecticut? Raccoon. What do you mean raccoons? <laughs> raccoons. Okay, look. Raccoon. Oh, you know, it's you know, R-A-C. Raccoon. Drink milk. raccoon. Zane, that's a raccoon. Do the peace sign one. Hey. <laughs> that's a raccoon. Come on, <laughs> guys. I think both ways for this specifically. I've just both never heard you say raccoon. A raccoon. That's, I'm here for it. Oh my God. I'm guys, not giving you a hard time. No, I'm just, no, I'm just saying, I think I think both are right. It's like- We're it's not like that, here for pronunciation it's, slander. It's that, it's that uh, there's another word that both ways are okay. Tomato, that's tomato, tomato. tomato. But Nobody says tomato. No, but no, not that one. It's another one. Oh, root and route. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah that one. We That's a actually, good example. This is a good game since we're all from very different areas. If we pulled up, there's lists online. Oh, yeah, the, the game is fun. Yeah, you can see like locally what you call certain and things. And it'll tell you. I think you. we've played that Oh, have here. we? The who's it, what's it, how you name it, the New York Times thing. I remember we played something like that in um, like years ago in a porter porterhouse. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah, we did play. Yeah. Yeah. In the porta, porta potty. potty. <laughs> the pod porta potty. That's right. Oh fuck! Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. We've got the app on our phones, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. Whether it's concerts, baseball, football, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. And with all these concerts and shows coming Mm -hmm. out, it is the best time to buy. Guys, there are insane artists that are playing right now that are on tour. We got the 1975, my favorite. We got Taylor Swift. Drake. 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 He Drake. Have you seen what it looks like? The videos that are coming out. The show looks unreal. Well, I'm gonna buy me a ticket. Let's go, baby. I don't don't even really listen to Drake, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go watch it because it's uh, full of AI and I love AI. And SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're in the app, look for green dots. Green means it's a good deal, and red dot means it's a little bit pricey. And guys, settle down, settle down. Don't worry, we've got the hookup. Use code UNFILTER for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED, and make sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, and we love you taking care of our fans, baby. Let's get him to Drake. Matt. <laughs> How was your birthday? My birthday was my birthday was five. 31. I had a really great You're birthday. In the thirties. I didn't like throw like a party or anything, but um You were you home or were you in I went to Vegas. Well, 
a couple weeks ago, well, Cody was DJing. Cody Co was DJing for Dylan Francis yeah. in oh Vegas. It was goodness. his first like big right. uh, nightclub at the Excess one at the Encore. Wait, I thought what, I thought he was already doing. D he was doing some slight DJ gigs, but this was like his first like big uh, thing. Oh, oh, right. one okay. on the title card. Like, oh, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. for Dylan, and I got invited to it a while back. He's like, you should come out, and I was like. Uh, I kind of want to, but we're just getting back from vacation and it's kind of my birthday weekend though. That'd be kind of fun, but he was only doing it for that Friday. Yeah. And so Patricia was like, I'm exhausted. You go ahead. So I went with Matt Doan and we just went to Vegas and oh, saw nice. him perform. And then I just had a little few friends over. Was it your, birth your birthday that you- No, it wasn't my birthday day. That was just like my birthday activity of something. Oh, I got it, to got do. it, okay. And then I uh, just went to a local brewery and drank with friends. Really nothing. <laughs> I love it's a, that's like a you know midlife adult type birthday. Why, why, like, why didn't you tell us to come? There was also a handful of I just didn't want to like bother y'all. <laughs> we love <laughs> birthdays. It we wasn't love like okay, it's like twelve but, but people mind on you, a bench. They were probably getting very drunk. Yes, and yeah, were, but it's Matt's birthday. You still go oh, like. And you know what? Here's the thing, and this is nothing. This is sometimes <laughs> when you realize there's. Friends that you have that you don't get to see that often. Like I get to see you guys like once a week. And then I had, there were some friends that I invited that I get only get to see once a month. And I wanted to like spend more time talking with them. Then I get it, I get it. do you know what I mean? That yeah, makes sense. I he also got a kid. I just was like, it was, yeah, Zane wasn't there. Only Todd came out of like anyone I knew. Or from, I, I, or, I honestly wouldn't have gone. <laughs> because I can't be around alcohol right now. Yeah, so. no, do not take it. No, it was just, I didn't want- No, you could, We man. kept it, because and we wouldn't even be able to fit, too. Did you get anything cool? Um, I got Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century on VHS. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wait, you, I'm sorry, I missed the first part. What did, you got, that's what you got? Uh, that's what you oh, mean? wait, you got, you got the tape as a gift? Mike got the... me that present, and that's like been my favorite present Oh yeah, because you collect uh, video tapes. I'm really bad at like asking people like what I, or telling people what you want for your birthday. Oh, it's hard. It's, it's my really mom was like, what do you want? Just I think just let people decide something fun. And I got a film, and, then, and I got a one-year subscription to the Criterion Film Channel. <laughs> what is that? What the is Criterion that? Collection is like a collection of like I would say it's a lot of like indie foreign films, um, and it's like its own Netflix that you have access to. So you get to watch a watch a, oh, watch cool. a bunch of weird Italian movies, <gasps> Japanese movies, all international movies, and I just like oh cool. I love turning it on, and they're very usually very boring, very sleepy. But I like watching that before I go to bed because then it's just like hushed, and I'm like, all right. Um, I, just I saw the video you directed; it was really good. Thank you very much, and thank yeah. you to everybody who watched it. Apparently, a huge bunch of people came from this podcast and watched it. And yeah, if you guys really haven't cool. seen it, it Garment great. Bag, Adam Elcher. Is there a website where if you if you're really bad at like getting birthday gifts, like like myself, I'm uh, really really Amazon bad at it. Amazon has the section like gift ideas, like for like. I, I have a perfect website. It's called Uncommon Goods. Oh boy, so, yeah, Uncommon Goods. It, is, oh, it exists. Unco it's called Uncommon Goods. That's where I get, if I don't have any ideas, mm -hmm. I go to Uncommon Goods. They've got it. And you, you do you put like in a budget type of gift? Or like yeah. you can do whatever you want. And they're all the- They're, they're I just was... very quirky, cool stuff. But like, is it, is it kind of like a free for all? Or do you like put in, there's you like filter, a- You could filter it. Filter it, yeah. okay. Yeah. So um, I just got my mom's gift. My mom loves puzzles. So for her birthday, I got her a puzzle but it's a newspaper cover from the day she was born. So it was like June, it says June oh, 10th, 1967. Oh, see, I cannot So think she just it. put it together. Yeah, that, like see, that's you cute. That, that, I, would, <laughs> I would not think of that. My go-to gift if there's Nobody something- Nobody looked, all their gifts are on there. My go-to <laughs> gift- Oh, oh like my, whose gifts? <laughs> the ones we're getting for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, the paper source store by your house is really so cool good. for like finding little knickknacks for people. Oh paper yeah. Paper source? Yeah. Paper it's called store. paper source? Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Um, it's like almost like a the, Hallmark the store. store. Yeah. It's like stationary, like, but it's cute little objects. Like little trinkets. I really don't, fun. I really don't look around when I drive. <laughs> <laughs> I also love, I, never mind. No, go on, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, no, sorry. I, I was saying like one time I went for a run um, down the street and I realized how many stores I like never knew was <laughs> there. Like I noticed so many, so many places where I was like, Damn, that really sucks. I didn't know that this like, was did here. Did you know I'm, there's a grocery store right yeah. down the street? <laughs> no, like, all I know are like the grocery stores and the restaurants that I like to go to. Everything else is just, uh, it's a blur. So many. It just doesn't exist. That's one good thing about running. You get to see things in like a more detailed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was really nice.
That one day that I did it. I only did <laughs> that one day. It's way too Never hot. Never do it again. I saw enough. It's way too fucking hot to run away right now. You should get a good little tan though if you go outside though. Oh, I just go to I just go to the, the cancer beds. I, I get a Are you still tan tanning? Uh, no, I only <laughs> I only do it like pretty much do it around Coachella. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I did get my DEXA scan. I did my DEXA scan today. <gasps> nice. How you doing? I um Do you feel good? I'm bet I I did better than last last month. Oh, good. So, you know, I started right. and a month later I did a DEXA scan. I'm doing better this So this time is the third around. one you did? The, the second did... one for this round. Oh, you're saying when we did it a year ago. When, I, when we did it a year ago, Got remember it. we both went in for a yeah, DEXA yeah, scan yeah, yeah. and then we did up. it a month later. I lined them oh, up perfect. because I started, I remember I went, I, when I went back from my first DEXA scan, I ended up right, exactly going right same. back to yeah. where I started. So I took that and I was like, let's see how I'm doing compared to last time. Right, and right. I'm actually doing better. Good. Could what's, you what's, you're on your, an what's your, what'd you get back today from your 25, per, uh, I was 25.5% body last fat month. like I was last time. Last year, I went down to 22.5 and this time I'm 21.3. That's nice. great. Yeah. Good. I'm I was happy for you. I was so fucking nervous because I'm like kind of like I'm kind of I'm kind of guessing what I need or what I what I should eat, right. which I'm really bad at. Normally, I'm not good at that, and I was just going my gut and I just just literally literally <laughs> and I just ate what I thought was good and just seeing that I was, I, I felt like I felt it felt it probably really motivated good. you even more. Yeah, like, you're like it's working because I feel yeah. like you need proof to like believe that something is working. Yeah, so I feel like. God knows that's what you need. And needed. it's crazy because I'm eating not only so much more than last time, but I'm eating much, much better food that I'm enjoying Good. than last and time. And you're really not drinking. Like you're not yeah, going out. That I think that's a that was a big factor too. Yeah, of course. Oh, ten ten thousand steps a day. I think that was a huge factor too. You're doing yeah. ten thousand steps a yeah. day. It doesn't matter how you get it done. If like I'm here right now and I go like ten times, that counts into my into my steps. How many steps have we done so far today? Ooh, can we all guess? Yes, uh, five thousand four hundred. No, no, I think he's at like eight, eight, eighty five hundred. Seventy two hundred. You're good, Mariah. So damn, like sixty steps away. Whoa, eighty four, thirty four. Go buy a lottery nice. ticket. Wow. When you said that, I was like, I know she looked at my watch. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> that's something you know what you probably would look at. Like <laughs> you'd just be like this and be like. Let's all guess. Yeah, let's all guess. The closest person. Yo, 10,000 steps a day is a it, lot. It's like, tough. When I go on a vacation or like you go tours. That's when you get 10,000 steps. That's when you get 10,000 steps. And I'm like, how do people do this a Bro, day? Bro, that's why I, I, that, oh. I, I don't know if you notice when you, if you ever look at my final location, I am in that fucking gym back and forth. It's my home base. Like yeah. I, whenever I feel, and I, I do like go for walks sometimes, but like, I get it the fastest when I'm on that treadmill because I can go fast. I can go slow without like. Yeah. Are you walking like, the whole time on the treadmill? Or are you running? I it's like half half. Okay. So I'll like, are you doing like the twelve three thirty or whatever? I, I do that sometimes. It really depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. Like in that moment, right? So like, there's times where I'm like, I feel like running, and I'll mm -hmm. run for like two miles straight. That's crazy. good though. Twelve three thirty. I oh, yeah. feel like you would get really burnt out if it was the same thing. Exactly. Every single day. I'm, like I'm, you can choose how you want to get your steps in. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. That's that's what I love about it, and it makes it like a little bit more exciting. And, and that's good with sucks. the food because yeah. I know the first round you were having trouble because it was the same meal every day, every three day. times a day, and you were just like, I can't do it. Yeah. So eating like going with your gut is probably the best thing to do because yeah. you can like spice it up yeah i feel like you did that you were just like i'm gonna uh, figure well, out i feel like that's what you do now like i feel like you balance it out very well now i feel like you can have nights yeah. where you yeah I it's eat, crazy like, that I've, I've maintained I, I, i'm still at like 163 right now um and that my last dexa scan was at 165. This is say, say that one more time. Say that one more time. Yeah, how much you I weigh? That? Okay. My last DEXA scan that I did with Zila, yeah. I weighed 165. The last one you did <clears throat> uh, during your journey? Yeah. I ended up getting down to 151 um, like after our doctor. Oh my God. I didn't know you were that low. When, I did, when, when we did the photo shoot, like Woo! the whole box. That, I thought that was 160. I was 151. Holy shit. Um, he did the photo shoot and he was like, these look really good. <laughs> he, passed out. he was like, but I'm too, too like thin. No, like, you don't I want, yeah, like, you don't want to yeah. be too thin. I, it, yeah. it, I mean, you looked really good. That, 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 that's what I was telling you. I was like, I don't want to be like too thin. Yeah. Because that, at that point, I don't even like. I'm not gonna even like feel good anymore. Like, I, I just I need to be thick. Like, mm -hmm. and and then the muscles can be. I just I, I kind of have like a a window, um, and I fast like all day. Like, I usually don't eat but, all day. What do you mean you fast? I don't all day? eat until like what three o'clock. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. And then I'll have like two filet mignons. That's when you're cr you want to eat, or like, are you? Will I'm you do wake hungry. up hungry? I, I honestly, if I I'm wanted to, hungry. Heath, I could do that too. Like, um, I could literally wait till three. I feel like we could all. I, a lot of people don't like eating in the morning. She she wakes up starving. She's like, yeah. I need. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I used to be like that, and then I kind of just like. Let's do three. Something happened. Yeah. Um, so I don't eat really until like three o'clock. So like, you're saying if I can physically do that, I should do that? Like, is no, that like a good? Just, but no, no. Listen, listen to your body. Like yeah. you, I feel like you're. But my body's saying pizza. My body's saying cookies and cream. <laughs> fucking ice cream. That's what my body wants. But this um, is what works for him after the journey. Yeah, yeah. It's been like a year since I stopped. And it's just like, I've kind of fluctuated. Like you, you get into like a different rhythm. Yeah. Uh, but I don't eat until three. Like I had. Two steaks today for lunch. Two steaks. All I eat is steak and butter. Damn straight, Patricia made steak steaks and butter. Last night. I yeah. love Why butter? It's all I eat because it's oh, it's just, just something. It's just something you like. It's to a good have fat. It. Um, steak, butter, butter is a good fat. Yeah, you you need fat. I swear, I hear fucking different things. Yeah, you, every yeah, day. You're going so many too. rules. So many rules. I was fucking. <laughs> I uh, there was telling me oh I should take creatine because it like helps um. Uh, yeah, something about helps, your muscles. I don't know, but, it I, helps build but your muscles. you gotta drink a lot of water because if you don't drink a lot of water, then it's gonna. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, all, like there's Every, just so much yeah. shit, bullshit. It's, be, it's because all these people giving you advice are doing what works for them. So it, yes, it's good advice and it's trial and error with yourself. It's like us with this cat. Yeah. I'm researching. There's a hundred different answers. We could and like, we could open up a vet are, shop right now. Oh at my this gosh! Point. Half the answers are like, "No, he's dying. That's it." But then everyone else is like, "You're doing perfect. He's he he looks great." Like it's like you just don't know. You have to feel it out. Yeah. Go with your instinct. Don't overthink it. I think just follow the regimen until you get to your goal, and then from there, feel your body out, see what works for you. Yeah. I was uh, also thinking about Ozempic too. That should no. help speed the process. I was no. walking out of Equinox and I saw this woman like giving <laughs> a guy an Ozempic shot. Like it wait, seems, outside of the gym, dude. I no, I was that like, is I, like one. That's yo, the worst I, place. To if do you that. go to like Equinox West Hollywood, it's like they got a bunch of chairs outside. You can tell a lot of people like pull out their <laughs> laptops after they work out. You know, working yeah, from yeah. home, getting a little Wi-Fi in, whatever. All these people, and I'm walking by and I see this woman out with the box and the shot, and she like. Pops a guy. It looked like a drug deal you're, went you're, down. You're sure? It you're like, sure it was Ozempic? Does it have a red cap in the blue? In, in a blue? Oh, I don't. I don't know what Ozempic looks pull, like. I'm pretty sure it was Ozempic, but it looked like he. Sounds like somebody, 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 somebody looking somebody it up. Does. I don't know what it looks like, but, but it, it looked like a classy drug deal. It looked like she came up, met him, gave him the shot, and she like zipped up. Yes, it was that. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, very festive. For I thought of it July. was a pill. No, it's a shot. The but. amount of fucking ads now. Oh, it's that we're seeing on it is it's kind of sad. Why? So but bad. we're seeing ads everywhere for a reason. Obviously, this isn't really regulated, is it? No. Er, I, I thought this was only something that you can get prescribed from. We a are the only country. Us in New Zealand are the only <laughs> ones that. where you can have bon advertising for prescription drugs. Oh. Isn't that crazy? That's sad. No, that isn't is that crazy? crazy? We are the only country, us in New Zealand, who you can show commercials and advertise prescription drugs and tell, ask your doctor. No other like wow. countries do it. That so is we, crazy. We, we advertise it so people are like, well, I could ask my doctor about it. It's a whole fucking business. Big pharma, baby. Mm. Yep. It's crazy, man. That is wild. But I, you know what, though? I let the, I go do it. I don't, <laughs> not saying go. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. We, I don't need it, but Matt, I'm look just, under your seat. I'm eating my popcorn. You get Ozempic. You get Ozempic. I'm eating my popcorn and watching just how this Ozempic thing folds. I don't think uh, unfolds. I don't think it will give you cancer. Or you're going to die. But it's just it's crazy that this drug is getting pretty popular. But it, it's kind I of love a bummer. The name. It, oh God, it has such a good ring. Ozempic. Yeah. Like so, like you know what it sounds like to a me? A Greek god. Olympia. Mm. Yeah. It sounds like yeah. Olympian. Ozempic. Like the wow. like sta a statue. Like there's Zeus versus Ozempic. Ozempic. Yeah. Oh God. It, it it's given strength. It is it's given lean. The, bi the big O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just screams America. God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, do you have a six pack yet? <laughs> you know what I'm worried about? People are gonna think I'm taking out something. Yeah. Oh, you're this doing that. Thing. No, you're not. People honestly, like that's why I've been posting so much of me where I post every day that I'm working out. Just, just to just, combat the comments. Just, just to comment because I know if someone's like fucking Ozempic, just like when you're getting comments, I know there's gonna be people defending me. Like if I couldn't stand the trendy thing as possible comments. <laughs> Boy, I would. Oh, people are saying you took steroids. 
But it was like the biggest compliment because I was like, wow, you think I look so good. Because he did it in yeah. literally the most natural way possible. Like, yeah. yeah. And just people like, try anything as possible. What I'm was like, the, what was like, the, what was the, the, the most that you did that was like, un, not, not unnatural, but like, what was like one, the closest thing you got to even like, like supplement ever in my life? Just in the journey, the fitness journey that protein you're doing. Protein shake? Yeah. Yeah. Protein <laughs> shake, right? That was that just, like the, just the Zila shake. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't even taking Wild. creatine during. I wish I was. Is there creatine in the pre-workout? I yes. think there's a tiny bit, but not like- I saw uh, that- No, no, it's, it's enough for one scoop. That, that uh, says it on the um, on the thing. I it has one full one, scoop. It has one full scoop, and then you take another scoop after a workout in your protein shake. I just <laughs> learned this, by the way. I've been taking pre-workout no, no, with the- No, no, no. The, the regular pre-workout yeah. that he sells has a full scoop of- When you scoop it, it's, an, it's, a, it's enough of one- It's enough for one scoop of actual when you scoop creatine. So it does not have creatine. There is creatine. There is creatine. In the Ilya shred, the summer shred, it says on the supplement. But he is. also sells creatine on the side. On yes. the side, yes. Gotcha. Plain creatine. Okay, yes. got it. So then I, I had creatine during. Yeah. I guess but that is would be it, it. But is it like, so maybe it's is a that like cheating? In bangs, there was creatine in bangs energy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Is that considered cheating? There's also like creatine. Like creatine? There's, I don't know if it's creatine monohydrate. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I take got creatine it. every day. But now I stopped the, Ilya, the Ilya shred though. I was getting like a little too toned and like skinny. Like I need like a full bulk like program. His was just like, I need like eccentric progressive sets and getting like heavier every time. I was just doing the same routine and I was just like, I tell you, I was toning. Boy, in high school, that Jack 3D though. The what? <laughs> there was this pre-workout called Jack 3D. Oh, I think I know like, what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm trying and to picture this, it. It got banned. Let me because see. of how insane it was, yo! People were. Oh wait, that looks like literally it looks like a prescription. People uh, were bugging out. I I was out of my mind at seventeen years old, eighteen years old. Well, off this shit. I think I knew a kid who had a mental breakdown on this Dude, and hijacked a car on Jack. It was it was literally drugs. Wait, wait, can we look at the ingredients and, in this? Um, it, they still sell it, but it's not what it used to be. Oh. But like, if you look up like. <laughs> Do Jack 3D like band, bro? This you felt like it was almost like doing meth. Yeah. No, I maybe meth? they had, honestly maybe they had like watch it in it. Remember Jacked uh, fucking uh, Four Loco? They they had bad shit in it where yeah. they had to get a band. Jacked was banned in August last year, four months after Squire's death. Oh, so someone died <gasps> after concerns over a stimulant called DMMA dimethylene, uh, which it's been linked to high blood pressure, headaches, vomiting, stroke, and a death. Oh, oh shit. I mean, do they don't pre-workouts do have a little bit of that? Maybe this one had a little bit more than Oh um, yeah, definitely. It was it was on some shit. Yeah, uh, I knew a kid who like, yeah, took some pre-workout in our town, uh, then walked to a gas station and then to hijacked a car. Like I think That's what had, I'm talking had, about, had a, baby. Had a golf club. A threat. The guy then drove the car into like a house, what? and then wow. And then he like blamed the whole thing on like a pre workout drink. That had to be mixed. <laughs> the, with the best promo that they uh, yeah. they use that as a promo for their commercial. <laughs> they were like interviewing him, interviewing him on the the news. This kid from my school, and his face was like busted up. He's like, <laughs> it was the pre workout. You see I was the, like, what? Wild. <laughs> uh, people were saying that there was like this video that went viral of this one like pitcher, um, and he was like. I, playing baseball, but as he's pitching, he's just like this. Oh yeah, just like oh, geeked out of his mind. Everybody's like, "Yo, he's on the original Jack 3D." Oh <laughs> my god, probably cool. Yeah, she was insane. Yeah, there's meth in it. Dimethylamine. That's meth. What? It's like, or a form of it. It's like a methamphetamine. Is it? Maybe I'm totally wrong. I know this is completely off topic. This just hit my brain. It's okay, Bring but it. um. Right remember, re remember that sh that site, Ashley Madison. Yes. No. They just came out with a doc. That was like a, a dating. Oh, so is it. that what the documentary you were watching on your flight, or was that a real ad? Wait, what? You posted that TikTok, and you were like, "I can't believe they're showing this ad on my flight." Is that the Ashley Madison documentary? No, and that was a clip? no, that wasn't. On a plane. No, it's it's not like no, it's it just got released on Hulu. Oh, or like or okay. like Netflix. Because you were showing that ad on your TikTok. No, no, that was on the plane. That is insane. So <laughs> that what is what is it? <laughs> 
Ashley Madison. And that was like the dating site thing, right? It was a, it was a place where people, uh, guys would go to to cheat on their wives. That's what a it was. A place to oh, go and have affairs. And then the, I, you, I think you know a little bit more about then it. Then they so, leak. They leaked the entire database of yeah. everyone who had been using yes. Ashley Madison. Like the names? So yeah. husbands all across and, and the, the guy. Oh, wait. We, and the guy who made the site. This. We talked about this on the high episode. Oh, on shit. Patreon. We, did. we did. I can hardly remember this, but yeah. Oh, my God. We did. Yeah. It was, it, oh, you guys should do Jacked 3D for an uh, episode. There we go. Episode. Bonus episode, Patreon. <laughs> the new one? The, wait. Zane be getting his 10,000 steps <laughs> in, running in place. I bet, I bet you we can find the original on like eBay for like 500 bucks or something. Oh, I think it'd be course. worth it. And especially if it's expired Jack 3D. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, we'd have to go to the hospital well, after. I'd be... <laughs> We, we need a one-way ticket. Mm. That I would do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Airlifted to the hospital in the beds. <laughs> type type original real quick. He's checking on eBay for us. I bet you can't even, if it's that. banned, but, but can like, you still buy? Oh, yeah, oh, through the box. Oh, there 300 is, bucks? 250 oh, bucks. Oh, do it. Do it. I'll that bet. was it. That was it. Tw 2015. Wait, the university studied one? So it was studied. Yeah. Before it got released, still? Yeah, but they could say whatever the fuck they want. Well, that's the thing. Is, university study doesn't technically yeah. mean FDA approved. Zane, it could have been studied <laughs> at Broward College Univers that we went to. Broward still a university. Studied. Ex oh, let's buy it. Expired in 2015. 15. Nice. I don't oh. get people who sell expired things on eBay. Like, I love that's that. That's a whole market of people. I, who, well, dude, look, we're about to buy it right now. I, I will dead ass buy that. They're like, honey, someone bought the trash. <laughs> You're never going to believe you see, I was right. You made fun of me thinking I wasn't going to sell products. It's like, it's like buying Quaaludes. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Got to get the expired stuff. Yeah. Are we going to buy it? I think we should. We'll okay. do it after this. Okay, good. It'd be we'll actually it really cute to have on the shelf. Yeah. It's kind of cool to say we have it. Things that we talk about and we buy it, that's what we fill up the room <laughs> with. <laughs> Matt, yes, did you sir. see uh, since the housing market is so difficult right now, mm -hmm. people are renting out RVs on the side of streets? Wait, uh, so in LA. If you notice, like, if you like drive around, there's like just parked RVs everywhere. There's always been parked RVs, but like, like it's gotten everywhere. really bad. Right. So they're called van lords. Yes. And they're basically renting out like just a stationary RV like outside of their house, like on the main streets and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, where like they'll put it all because like and apartments people... and houses are so expensive. So these people are living just in like the RV. That's why they're like getting so popular. I just saw. Is this... that legal? Technically, it depends you're on renting where it's out the parked. car and that just happens to be where they're parking. It but I thought like on, an RV depends world. on where it's parked. Um, but since there's so many, they're not towing them because they can't fill up the the tow yards because they would just there's right. just too many that they're like. Then it sounds like we need to fix this problem. Then yeah. it's um, fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane. Well, then uh, are there parking meters in these areas? Or are there parking on the sides where like there is no parking meters? Right, because yeah, usually where they do camp pockets. is then they do find it. Um, yeah, but it's insane. So they're just like, and the price out. ranges are crazy, like right? Four hundred to a thousand bucks for it. What uh, for the for the RV? Um, but they, I just saw somebody's house. So people are doing it in their houses now. So their yard, they're filling up with it. This lady uh, uh, in like North Hollywood has 15 RVs parked in her yard, like on the grass and running it as like this basic like. But it's terrible wow. because the, the poor neighbors, now the neighbors went on the news and yeah. she was like crying because there's like fecal matter coming out of it. They're dumping the fecal They're matter out yeah. into Sidewalk. the street and it's pouring into the neighbors and the neighbors like, why aren't they shutting this down? And everyone's like, where's the health inspectors? It's crazy. Nobody's doing anything about it. I'm surprised that you like can house over 15 code. people in. You, you shouldn't be able to. No, I'm that surprised doesn't. that they're. I'm surprised that they're even allowed to. They're do not that. up to code. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, they got to really create some like laws. Scary. Um. Oh, but yeah, but this has been going off for a long. Or the just but, the RVs though. It's out getting in LA. like really bad. But it's a thing now. Like it, they're vineyard, van, van lords. Van lords. Van, they're vineyards. They're vineyards. <laughs> they're making wine. <laughs> In they're, the RV. they're making in the they're, they're boofing. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know what? You know what? I uh, right I was like looking it up because you know how like boomers and everything are like get a job and buy a house. Yeah, um, that's not possible. back in the eighties. The median house price was two times the median household income. Oh, this is I know this is terrible. Now, so, can you say that you, in baby words? So, a house price was equal to two times what you were making. Yeah. So like your salary for a year took two, years two years to buy a house. <clears throat> right now it's just about eight times. So you have to work eight years worth of salary to buy a house. More than that. That's why I think that's, it's going to collapse. That's, that's how wild. how is that not? Yeah, and that's yeah. on top. Like 
everything else is increased in price. Yeah. So it's, uh, dude, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how they can do this shit. It's crazy to me. It's going to be so bad. I'm like so scared for what the future. I don't know how these pe people do afford their homes though. But then they're saying like, oh, and well, then the minute someone can't afford a house, guess who's the first person to sweep that shit up? The big banks, the big, the yeah. big dogs, exactly. The selfish Loan people sharks. with ten other houses. All, all these, <laughs> all give these, us a chance. All these Airbnbs <laughs> that people bought to like make money that are just uh, sitting. Yeah, Airbnbs about to collapse. My friends who oh like my are God, always yeah. like big Airbnb guys, always like posting TikToks about their Airbnb stuff. When I've been hearing that it's collapsing, I'm like, it is. How they're posting? They've been silent. Like I haven't seen. It's so bad, and now they're not going to be able to pay for that house because people aren't Airbnbing it, and now they're going to start <clears> selling that shit, and. The interest rate is so high, people can't buy anyway. So all these big banks are going to come in, buy up all the property, and then now there's literally nothing. No, it's a, it's a, it's it a bank, and then and then they just they, here, they, right? they no, it's going to keep going. It's going to get worse. Well, like the the price <laughs> since like 2020 has doubled <laughs> on houses, and then the interest rate back then was like 2.5, and now it's almost eight percent. What's wild is also commercial real estate. All these office buildings now everyone like works from home. No yep. one's in those buildings. Yeah. People spent all this money building all these like workspaces at everyone for everyone to work. And now nobody needs nobody to, go needs to so buy sad. those. That's like a whole thing where it's like no, knock where it down. Do you draw the line of like should people work be working from home in their PJs jerking off all the time or should they be <laughs> like uh, sure. in the building? Like I what know do, what, do you, what do you guys think? About that, I say jerk off if you want while you're no, working. No, no, but I'm, I mean, I'm saying like, uh, what do you think about like uh, people requiring working, people to work in it? It comes out of productivity. Well, like if you're getting more work done and people don't have to be in the office and your company is performing off the charts and the company culture yeah. is high and people are motivated to work, then don't have it in a building. They, they proved it during the pandemic that they can get their shit done with you working at home. Yeah. So it's like, how do you tell people now come back in? Yeah. It's like. And people are in these houses that they paid so much money for. They're like, I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get my car crazy. and spend money on gas to go there. Exactly. It's yeah. really complicated. Yeah. It's oh, tough. It's it a is. wild situation right now. I'm just glad I'm not in commercial real estate. Like that's, I'm just, sometimes the thing is I wish the best for everybody. And I hate that capitalism is a survival of the fittest thing, but it's like, glad I'm not in that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause. And I feel like you think like, when people work from home, you assume that they're just gonna be lazy and slack off, but really I feel like they're working harder because it's less stressful, you're more comfortable. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I feel like it all depends. And on I feel the like you're it working depends on the business, it depends on the person. And I feel like but, you don't mind working longer hours either. Like right. you, you, you don't mind I, like yeah. if you're in, like watching TV at like eight o'clock PM, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna get some right. emails done. Like why might as well like, catch up yeah. with work. But you're right, if it gets the <clears> job <throat> done, then why not? I remember if, if, if the whole company's slacking off, everybody come in, that's it. But if it's working, I remember I know, um, I when my mom started working from home, like at the end during COVID, she, it was so cool to like see her, she would get up in the morning and get ready like she would for work, like do her makeup. hair, makeup, yeah, get that was dressed, so cute. like look like she would, go to work and then she would just work from the computer. Yeah. She wasn't on she wasn't on camera or anything. That's just getting the, the mindset. That's, so that's the way to do it though. But like it gets you like I yeah. if because if you start just sitting in your PJs and you're just like Yeah. Just yeah. chill. Like, yeah. That's really bad I feel. They, I just, they gave it a term. They gave bed rotting a term. I know yeah. it's been on the news lately where they're like Yeah. Bed uh, you know who is it's bed not, it, Danielle. It is bed just rotting. it is notorious the, bed rotting. It is the new couch potato. Like oh I can't wait just to go home and like rot. Like yeah. in your yes. bed it's become like a fun yeah. thing to say. Yeah. But now it's like yeah. when it becomes so casually used it's like so I agree with the way your mom did it. Yeah, I think you gotta, if like, you're working from like home, you have to treat it like you're getting up and you have to go to work. It just like kids should helps. be in school though. Like my cousin, she's a elementary school teacher and she does. She's a virtual teacher to elementary school kids. No. So that's very wild like, to me. So I'm like, Still? Uh, yeah. Wait, well, she's I've, seen, part, I've seen videos she's of this. part of a whole like it's <clears throat> kids oh, who aren't what? in their school district program. I don't think she's part of a school district, but you're you're streaming to a bunch of kids who are maybe homeschooled who live out in just different areas and you're teaching them, which oh is gosh. like, okay, I in a way I kind of get that. But then at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. I'm Oof. so conflicted because like if people want to homeschool their kids, homeschool your kids. I've known plenty of kids who turned out just fine being homeschooled. Some a little crazy, yeah. but like kids need I think, other kids. Community. I, you see, it that's something yourself. I don't really agree with. That's why I always that think virtual. Yeah, shit yeah if but you're they gonna have to have somebody <laughs> teaching them. If you're gonna homeschool your kid, put them in sports. Yeah, you could still they like need do to be like interacting and like, and like, like that. be involved like with other yeah. kids. I know. 
So and I, some like, people are too scared to like, now there's a whole fear of just like school shootings and stuff. People don't want to like send their kids yeah, to school. Yeah, there's a lot of different. I, like, that fear. I yeah. think homeschooled kids can play for public school sports teams. Can they? I think oh, there really? was a kid in our school <clears throat> that was homeschooled, but he would be like on the football team. Was he really, really? good? Maybe they just begged him. He just goes. <laughs> yeah, right. He was. Yeah, he was yeah, way right. too really good. good. Yo, that's crazy. Make an exception. You don't have to. You don't have to have the grades or like pay for the school. But if you could play a sport, they're like he you're fucking good. He has to show his grades for sure. No, I'm saying like colleges and shit and like high. Oh, they don't. Probably not. Right. My brother. Do they really care? My brother. I think if you're homeschooled, you still have to do the standardized like state testing and stuff. You still have to be <laughs> showing that you're like passing the grade. That has to be sent in, right? Home I think if you're, if you're good all, enough, I don't think I grades think, matter. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure like a homeschool teacher, you still have I to be doing- I think you have to like show that they did the correct- Wait, are we talking about college or are we talking about- Elementary school or like- or, <laughs> Oh, or, 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 no. Oh, grade, oh, no, no, I'm at grade school, sorry. Oh, I'm at grade school. Elementary, fucking high college. I'm gonna homeschool 100%. God, you I think wish I so? was an athlete. I, yeah. I just want, I want my kids to go to like a tech school, like like get hands on. You Trade know? school? Trade school, yeah. Learn it something. all depends on Learn where. Something. It's crazy like, or magnet schools, how there's lotteries to get into <clears throat> other public schools. That's a whole crazy thing. How you can be a kid in a public school, but you can get picked to uh -huh. go to the, the prestigious private school for free and you're on scholarship. Yeah. That's like, that's crazy. How there's lotteries for kids. There's lotteries. There's, it's not even based on like your own academic performance. People enter lotteries just for their kid to get into the better school mm -hmm. is for for like for for free pretty much, right? Uh, yeah, These yeah. It, there's just sometimes there's better schools in a neighborhood. I'm hopefully I'm getting this yeah. right, and it's there's not enough or people. Or if you that like, house. if you do like the specific program, like Jordan wasn't supposed to go to our school, but he was in the magnet program, so he was able. I was lotteried. You were lotteried. Oh, you're lotteried. Yeah, but with all my best friends who went to the application, I actually. Took oh my shoot. Head. As Asian, because I looked up the statistics, there's only three percent Asians. So. Okay, that's good. Cool. I mean, Jordan, you're, you're, you're smart. Asian, you're Asian though. Smart. You said that. You said, that, you, said that, you said that like you're not Asian. <laughs> He's like, I put, I put no, it as I, Asian. I no, I think, he just felt, I think he just felt bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's I mean, funny. I put it. I put in Pacific <laughs> <Shit> Islander. <laughs> Pacific Islander. Um, I, I, I thought. I thought it was. <laughs> I'm putting European. <laughs> <laughs> I put everything else but white. I was like, I do not want. To, I want to. I want to be pig. Why? Why do they always have? It's like white, and then it's like Hispanic. Mexican, but like not Hispanic. Like yeah, there's this like parentheses that? that's oh, after. Where it's white. Not, not Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah. Oh, because his uh, Spaniards can be white. There's white yeah. Spanish people. Yeah. So it was, oh. it's so, only on the white category. You have to put like not Hispanic, Hispanic. I miss. I miss just a scantron. Give me a scantron. Yeah. I love oh, scantrons. I love just bubbles. just the beginning bubbles. You just do. You're just putting in your the name. Practice. But ones, you're yeah. like. You're like. That's right. <laughs> this. I'm spelling my name. I took more time filling in those bubbles perfectly. Yeah. yeah. You know the answer. Which one would you pick? If I didn't know the answer, I'd pick C. Thank always you. C. Yeah, always I yeah. would look at, I realized always that there was a pattern. C. I wouldn't even reread the question. I'd be oh, like, oh, it's C. I would do I would the, pattern the pattern too, I go, but oh, that was three Ds in a row. <laughs> I did not then you're me. like, that, or like, or maybe they're trying to get us to, yeah. maybe they're, they're sending oh a my message. Gosh, wait, did <laughs> your did your teacher ever make one that was all the same just to C? Uh, yeah. Like they I, were all Bs and you're like, something's wrong here. Uh, yeah. And they, they actually did it to like- That's if they're like great, if they're like doing it themselves, yeah. Just just to throw you off though. I'm like, I can't. Oh, but they should have made like the last like five not be. Cause you know, somebody would catch that pattern and be like, all right. <laughs> yeah. but, you, but you know, the, the, I, cause I know there were some idiots that would like, if, if, if they didn't know any of the cool answers, they would just, you know, guess every, but they would like do it in a pattern. That's like, why would you even do that? Yeah. They'll do it in like a pretty little, oh, like, yeah, yeah, symmetrical like way, pattern. Way. And it's like, you know that the, the, the you know, you're going to get at least like 95% of those wrong. I hated timed writings, but I mean, the time I was in college, I like knew, the exact paragraphs we I needed to do. But when I was a like, little kid and you got like a time writing and I would sit there and I'd think mm -hmm. of like a whole fucking movie in my head. <laughs> I'd be writing that out. And then halfway through, I realized- The I time could... is fucking over and then you yeah. end it. <laughs> you remember like the, when you had to do like the stories, like the writing and the, the paragraphs, how you had to start with certain things? Yes. Do you remember what it was? It was like, 
you would have your like intro. Then the second paragraph would be like, and it would have like a certain way to like start yeah, it. Yeah, and it would be like the second paragraph. Creative has- writing. The purpose. The the yes. intro. MLA format. MLA yeah. For- oh. No, but not not necessarily like that. Like your own creative writing, like a story that you made up. Like remember, oh, remember yes. those brackets that we'd have to do, and it was like the body. Yeah. The, the, oh, yes. yes. And then you would We're talking have to, like high school, right? No, no, I'm talking like middle school. Middle school, okay. I think and was, then you would have a list of transitions. Or maybe even elementary. It yeah. would be a list of transitions that you would sprinkle in. It'd be like, moreover. Yes, or that's therefore, it. Or therefore, like- I'd, I'd like, always get those wrong. <laughs> Mine would make no sense. More, and I'd be like, and moreover. And therefore. In conclusion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you would have to use all of those in there, but it'd have to be your own. So weird. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did you ever like then? hash out the same stories? Yes. Yeah, you know, I had some stories in the bank and I would just like bring it out. Like I had one, I had one about this special, like a special needs kid. <laughs> no, but it was a true story. We had this special needs kid. I had like this really great heartfelt story. I would st- I, I was perfected that story every year. In, whenever those time writings would a come out. A little exaggerated every year. A little perfecting the story and I would get an <laughs> A, a every time. Spice. And I was just like done. I always knew it was like a solid oh, story. You see, I never even thought to reuse stories. <laughs> yeah, I would have some in my just memory bank yeah. where I could just go, how can I apply this to this thing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What did, what did you say for a reason uh, your, your college should let you in? Why? Ours was a person who made a big impact on you, and I wrote about Chucky e. Cheeses, and I no, wrote about no, Chucky. Great. I wrote about Chucky and how by taking on the mask of Chucky, you can see the world of creativity through children's eyes, or something like that. Oh, that's Adorable. cute. What did I do? It was all right. Um, we didn't have to write anything. It was Broward College. Oh yeah, they were yeah, just okay. like, we'll take you. <laughs> yeah, just <kidding. laughs> you no, applied. They were, they were begging. Yeah, they were begging for our kids to go there. Those what classes a, were boring as what a school. Fuck, I know. Oh god. Did you have like 70 year olds in your class too? Yeah. In, in college? Yeah. Um, I thought well, only community not, colleges. No, are not like 70 that. year olds. I would say there would be like sometimes you see like 40 year olds or okay. 50 year olds. Yeah, we, Wait, had, a in, of, in we had a lot of in college. had a lot of old people. In, in undergrad college. classes sometimes. Oh, I thought I thought like but, colleges were separate. They brought like community college. I thought yes, community well, colleges B, for the BC is a, is a full college. Like it, it changed to a full college like a couple years before we got there. Um, but yeah, we used to have a lot of old people. I've been wanting classes. to go sit in on a class. I just hope nobody would like be like. I, I <laughs> oh, like, I told you I did that. Wait, you're allowed we, to, right? Uh, you can just like sneak into. I don't a, think uh, you're supposed you, to. They just don't care. Yeah, I I went You'll to Penn State on. and went to class with my brother criminology. I was taking notes. That's it was really. I just wanted to experience it once. I remember my mom going to college when we moved to Pennsylvania. I could see if I was like if I was like sixty and I was single. I could see myself just like you know just. Killing some time, going to a couple of classes. Dude, I would get just high. around Same. people. Still getting your steps in. <laughs> <laughs> I would get high. Like sometimes in college, I would meet up with my friend Claire. She was like pre med, and I would go sit on like doctor classes. Like <laughs> they're talking some medical stuff, yeah. and I'm trying to understand it. But I loved it because like I, I'm not going to get tested on it. But yeah. I would just like view it as a mini TED talk. No, that, that's not, no, that would be really fun. Not knowing that you don't have to fucking remember learn, it. It just be like there to learn. But yeah, well, that's how it was for. Our criminology class because I failed every time. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Man, that shit was fun. Mm. Do Patricia's place though? Oh, fi- finally, we got the AC fixed, but I was going nuts yesterday. Or we had it's no AC. And I was like, I can't even think. Like, nope. I realized how, like, just how much a temperature in a room can affect you. I was losing yeah, it, it slows you that, down. that's that's the one thing that that really that dry that drives me like over the edge i was about to is, get a is, ladder is no ac i was about to get a ladder up on the roof and like pull out a manual and like fix oh no the matt AC. no matt me i move out <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will pack my things and I will be out of there. Uh, no question. Is no it, question. Um, window unit AC or is it? It's on the roof. I don't central know. Central AC. It's a central. Well, I don't know. Her, the, it's like a duplex. The roommate next door, her AC is. Is, all there, like, is there like, the safe is there behind, it's in, in the, the roof like it. this? Or f- you yes. have to put okay. the code in. Yes. Yes. All right, so you, <laughs> what? Like, it's, it's in the, the safe. safe. You have to put the code in. <laughs> 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 how come how come other countries especially like europe they don't have ac uh because the what? buildings are old their buildings are old and they just whoever owns a building doesn't want to put it in they or just like the infrastructure of it that's why that's why oh, it, yeah they'll have but they'll have fans everywhere and some right. countries don't have plumbing it's right but like 
there's a lot of old shit here too. Before, like a lot like, of shit was Le- built. Lebanon, in- Lebanon's like that too. There's like they have fans everywhere. Like a lot of places don't have ACs. I remember fans being everywhere. You just have to like plug it in in every socket. Stuff's that just you- old. They don't want to have yeah. to rebuild the building. We're so used in the U.S. Everything was built in the past less than a hundred years. Like it's. Like, get, all, that, get that AC. We got to gotta get that little that, that little AC unit that, from Amazon with the ice cubes. I think <laughs> they work, a, though. <laughs> it's pretty people, people with the, the Yeti cooler, well, they'll put like the ice water in there and then they'll put the fan yeah. like, going into it and like sucks the cold air out mm, of it. But man, I've been spoiled that. though. When I was living at our house, just cranking that cold. Oh my and God. And having that just be mm, I, hot, I, like all the In time. order for me to sleep, I need to be freezing. Yes. My, I, I just want to. Mm, I love snug. being freezing cold and fighting for warmth. Yes. In the middle of the night, I want to be so uncomfortably cold that I'm like clenching, like literally fighting. You know why, you know why it is, right? Because we lived in Florida, yeah, the hottest true. motherfucking yeah. place to live in. And AC in, this in Florida, well, for my parents, it was a treat. Mm. It, it was. was like it was like you could turn the AC on. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh, really? She'd be like, yeah, put it on seventy eight. I'd be like, our, uh, seventy eight was our treat. Our AC could never be below like seventy six. Yep, ever. That which is isn't crazy. that crazy? What the news tells people what they need to set their ACs to. Like, Wait, or, what do you mean? Because right now, like <clears> power like grids, they don't want power outages. Like right now, that usually happens around the summer because oh, everyone's, everybody's pumping AC. AC. Yeah. They're just like, keep it at eighty. You're no. like, no, fuck you. no. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? Build but a we, better we, infrastructure to handle it. Yeah, <laughs> we need AC. We just bought the Dyson fan. Oh, oh we. I have yeah, the pure I, cool. I, I, I the, would, this the the yeah. whole, Wait, it works. I, I have one. I would take a bullet for that thing. Oh, Wait, I, I have it. something like that. It's, I don't think it's Dyson, but it doesn't work that well. I'm guessing yours is like it's so good. It but wrote, it's a it's a Dyson. It wrote it's a Dyson. It's a Dyson. And that's gotta be and the best purifier. brand in the world. It really, it really is the best brand. You <laughs> shouted them out. I feel like three Bro, times. The this fucking month. I, their blow dry the best. Everything so everything good. they make is the best. Everything is amazing and it looks good. Unbelievable. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get one. Yeah, I've sucks. Oh, that's a pure so hot and cool. I have a pure cool. I love it. Mm. I love it. It's not like taking the, because mine, the air it blows, it feels like it's the same air I'm breathing. It's just circulating one, the same air? This, yes. This one's a, a purifier, so it's sucking in the outside air, and throwing it, it through a filter, mm, and then- mm. Cold, hot. But we love that first world country yeah. shit. Did you say, wait, sorry, I read a comment. I didn't watch the last episode. Did you guys start watching Silo? No, no. no. You guys saw Frontier Airlines is doing a three hundred. I don't know if it was true or not. It seemed true. I what? looked at a three hundred dollar a year membership pass where you can fly from. No. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, but but like, you have blackout dates. You can't. Blackout you, you, dates, can't yeah. you can't take it during holidays. You can't. Yeah. But in my head, it's like if you fly in Frontier, you're probably not flying a lot. You know what I mean? Like it's you're yeah. flying frontier. You are not flying like every like. Right. You're not. You're not like a or a, a or traveler. you're using that shit for like close travel just to like yeah, avoid just like, driving. Yeah, like it's like puddle shit. hoppers. Like a two hour drive. It's like yeah. fuck that. <laughs> you're like, all right, I gotta get to Big Bear. Yeah, uh, all right, I'll take frontier. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought that was really funny because everybody just makes just shits Dude. on Frontier. Like, do not fly Frontier. Really Did you funny. see the uh, the story? I forget what airline it was, but they offered a lifetime <laughs> flight pass for you Why and like a, so a buddy. This was United um, in the. But they banned it because the the one guy took advantage of it. So he, I think it was like an absurd amount. It was a million dollars. It was a million dollars. Or half dollars. or 500,000. It was between 500,000 and, and a million. And it's free flights for the rest of your life yeah. on that airline. But this guy was taking 200 flights a year and he was like, he was like talking about it. He was like, yeah, I would just like, he had a buddy pass. So he'd be like, hey, do you want to go to Italy tonight and just go grab a pizza? So they would both fly, go to Italy, grab a pizza and then come back. And he was just like really abusing this thing. And then he, on top of it, was racking up the miles from all of these flights. So then he was turning that in and was like, how did they not make sure that for these three flights were not, were cannot counting as points. It was insane. So he was getting all these miles points. He was getting like free hotels. He was getting like (gasps) money back. He, uh, something happened. I, I think he turned a lot of the points into, um, like gift cards and he ended up having like $50,000 in Walmart gift cards. Like, I mean, good for him. That, was, honestly, yeah. I it love a good loophole. Crazy. <laughs> uh, but he got that million dollars worth. That's a one wow. hell of a loophole. He's um, probably not even mad. He's probably like, I still did yeah. it. Yeah. And you know what? That didn't that didn't lose him a lot of money. 
No, he. Yeah, no. Uh, he's uh, no, because j the way he did it, you're j you're taking a seat, right? They're already making so much money off other people buying flights. It's like it's such a. I guess they thought like nobody would buy it, or <laughs> no, or nobody would take advantage. Yeah. of Yeah, they don't like test those things out. They're like, all right, can someone actually? Yeah. Use the, like what could go wrong? What here? could go wrong? Thank, yeah. go thank goodness the airline is still in business. Can you imagine buying that for like Pan Am and then like, <laughs> sorry, we're going out of business. You're like, uh, what? I just, <laughs> I just gave you a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the other guy have a freak out on a plane and ran to open the door yes. and got tackled by the other two passengers? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I think yeah. Is this is recently. I would have had a heart attack. Look at him. He he wants to this open guy. the door, the exit door. Oh, and hell he's like, no. he's trying to like get to the uh, emergency then, exit door and like pull it open. And another passenger. Look at everybody him. trying to be to get that first TikTok out. And then all the phones come out. Boom. Wow. Nice. Look at those passengers go off. Now, do they get an upgrade? Do they get some right. miles by taking yeah, it Yeah, let me get some fucking. Like, give my me a lifetime. Yeah, let membership. me get a first class seat. Have you ever spotted an air marshal on a flight? I don't no. think you're, so. you don't really spot them. Sometimes they, you can. Only Megan McCarthy can. Megan McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> so <laughs> close. <laughs> Honest mistake. That's too that's way too close. My, my dad my dad my dad spot them sometimes. Usually they don't do anything. The person on they they they're they're not napping, they're not looking at anything. They just sit there. Yeah. And what they raw the, dog the I whole would flight. I hate that. that. I would job. hate that job. All right. You want to close it out? Yeah. Close it out. Let's do it. Yeah, thank you for tuning into another episode. I really appreciate it. You can check out these episodes every Monday, audio form on on the Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, all those podcast platforms. And we also upload the video form of this um, on youtube.com slash Zayna Heath every Tuesdays. Make sure to check out Cremota.com. You're going to get the best coffee in the world. We've got ground coffee, whole bean espresso. We've got K-cups. We've got bags. We've got matcha. we got the Cremacha starter kit. It's going to have everything you need all inside of the little box ready to go for you. Also, make sure to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We do early access to all these episodes. You get to see them a few days early. All ad-free. We do a bonus episode every single month, either high, drunk, with one of your favorite guests. Um, it's a really good time. We do a live Q&A every single month as well. You get a private Discord. You get to hang out in. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, good. behind the scenes stuff, whatever you want, uh, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. That very, was very smooth. good. That was hot. Come on now. All right. Um, we'll see the unwinders in uh, oh, five seconds. That's right. And we keep these cameras rolling for an extra oh, 20 shit. minutes. Just hang out, like, you know, a little debrief, behind the scenes stuff. Um, and we post that every single episode. And on I'm going to go get the cat for the unwind. Oh my God. Perfect. So All if right. you want to see the cat, see unwinders in five seconds. Love you guys. Mwah. Peace.